Alright, things you're gonna need for an oil change. New oil. Panda Kits oil. Oil filter. Socket set. Oil filter removal tool. So, all those things right there is what you need to complete an oil change. We're about to do the oil change on a Ford E350. Big block. Seven. Seven point uh, five liter V eight engine. So stay tuned. We'll take you underneath the vehicle. We'll pop the uh, drain plug out together. All right, be back with you folks in a brief minute. From Backyard Boys 1984 channel to y'all. Happy automotive work. Woohoo! Y'all can't tell me I don't know what the hell I'm doing. First socket that I uh, picked up, I looked to see if it would fit on this bad boy over here. Kind of spin you guys that way a little bit. Let you guys see how we do this. Alright. This nut right here. Stuck it on there and it fits. Alright, so we need to figure out which way do we gotta loosen this whore. Obviously not that way. <laughs> we gotta turn it this way to loosen it. So we're gonna go righty tighty lefty. Lucy. Oh, uh, she's in there. Oh, she's in there. <laughs> she's loose. Let's get the uh, this pan all the way under here. Let's not drop the oil drain plug into the pan either. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Oil change going on right now. About to drain the water well out. Oh, there. oh shit. I did it. I did it anyway. I dropped the damn thing anyhow. Alright. We're going to let that drain out. Damn, that's blacker than a freaking African American. Holy shit. That's blacker than fucking Harry Salmon's nutsack. But anyway. Uh, so there's that. Uh, that's a fucking son of a bitch to get to. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna let that drain up into there. Oh yeah, that should... <laughs> Seemed like there'd have been more oil than that coming out of here. That all drain off. She might have been low on oil too, guys. We don't know. She might have been low on oil too, y'all. Cause there should be there should be more oil than that just coming out of there. Like, come on now, really? Steady, just pour it out of there. <laughs> That's blacker than the pavement, dude. That's fucking not good. Engine oil should not be black like that. Let me see something here. So we ran into one problem on the RV doing the oil change. There's an oil filter adapter that attaches to the motor. And the oil filter adapter was loose. So while I was trying to take the oil filter off, it wouldn't come off, it wouldn't budge, it wouldn't move. Stabbed a screwdriver through the oil filter, tried to reef it off there, wouldn't come off. Ended up taking the oil filter and the adapter down to an uh, auto mechanic place. Um, off of 19th Avenue and Indian School. Big shout out to them, thank you very much, um, 19th Avenue Garage, for giving us some assistance with that. Um, anyway, folks, so yeah, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get off, but got it off of there. They, they got it off separated for me. I bought the oil filter adapter back, stuck it on there, tightened it down really tight. Made sure it's sealed up. Threw the new filter on there, threw the oil in there, fired it up. She's running good. 
got a slight misfire, got a slight, you know, rough idle. Getting the tune-up done tomorrow. We'll be back with you tomorrow with a tune-up on the Ford E350 from Backyard Boys 1984 to y'all. Hope you enjoy my next video. Remember, love one another, and if you can't, then just walk away. Peace, and we'll catch you on the next one. Out with Trout.